Remember that hilarious robot that face planted on the internet because it was working too hard? Yeah, he's back. And this time, he brought an army. Agility Robotics just built the world's first humanoid robot factory, and they're planning to pump out 10,000 robots every year. Amazon's already testing these things in their warehouses and dropping a jaw-dropping $15 billion to build 80 high-tech facilities powered by these bots. That's not a pilot program. That's a robot takeover. If you thought your job was safe, think again. This could change everything, and NVIDIA is fueling this revolution. Keep watching to learn how. Jonathan Hurst and Damien Shelton, two roboticists, got together and thought, you know what the world needs? More robots that walk like awkward humans. And just like that, Agility Robotics was born. Based out of Oregon, these guys weren't just tinkering in a garage. They were building legged robots that could walk, balance, and carry things without face planting every five seconds. Their goal? Create robots that can do the dull, dirty, and dangerous jobs so humans can, you know, do literally anything else. But this was in 2015. Add $190 million in investment capital and a decade of improvements, and you got a perfected digit and a factory called RoboFab, ready to pump out as many of these guys as possible. Fast forward a few years, and boom, Digit walks onto the scene. Digit is their flagship humanoid robot, standing at about 5 feet 9 inches, weighing 140 pounds, and capable of lifting 35-pound boxes like it's arm day at the gym. It's got bird-like legs, a sleek torso, and zero complaints about long hours. Perfect warehouse worker. But everything started to change back in 2023. That's when Agility Robotics unveiled RoboFab, the world's first purpose-built humanoid robot factory. Located in Salem, Oregon, this place isn't just some glorified robot garage, it's a full-blown factory with the capacity to churn out over 10,000 digits a year. Yes, 10,000 humanoid robots annually. That's not a factory, that's a robo-army in the making. So, why even build RoboFab? Simple. Agility sees a future where every warehouse, distribution center, and maybe even your neighborhood grocery store has a digit or two helping out. They're not trying to replace humans, they're trying to fill the labor gaps that are making logistics managers cry themselves to sleep. And as demand for automation skyrockets, Agility wants to be ready. So they didn't just step into the future, they built it, factory and all. According to some experts, there are about a million open jobs for warehouse work across the United States alone. And these are not the jobs that humans want. These are the jobs that are very difficult and low paying, but someone still has to do them. Which is why Agility Robotics is sending Digit. And the first company to order them? You guessed it, Amazon. Before we move on to the next section, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video so far. Amazon, the land of two-day shipping and questionable product reviews, decides to spice things up in 2023. They roll out the red carpet for Digit, Agility Robotics humanoid robot, at their robotics research facility just south of Seattle. Digit's first gig? Tote recycling. Not the most glamorous job, but hey, everyone starts somewhere. This bipedal buddy can lift up to 35 pounds and navigate spaces designed for humans. It's like your co-worker who never takes a coffee break and doesn't mind doing the same same task over and over again. Amazon's chief technologist, Ty Brady, mentioned that the testing is in its very, very early stages, but they're optimistic about Digit's potential. And you want to know the best part? Operating Digit costs only $10 to $12 an hour, according to Agility Robotics CEO Damian Shelton. That's less than what you'd pay a human for the same work, and Digit won't call in sick or ask for vacation days. Amazon's not stopping there. They're investing a whopping $15 billion to expand their U.S. warehouse network, aiming to build around 80 highly automated logistics facilities packed with next-gen industrial robots. It's like they're assembling the Avengers, but for package handling. So, while Digit is still getting its robotic feet wet, the future looks promising. By the end of 2025, we might see these humanoid helpers working alongside humans, making the warehouse floor a little less human and a lot more sci and if you want to order these robots, you will have to opt in for either the CapEx or RAS models. Let's say you wanted to get a digit to clean all of the clutter in your garage. Could you go to Agility Robotics and ask them to sell you a digit? Well, even though you technically could do that, I wouldn't recommend it. You see, according to a spokesperson at the company, digit is going to cost the same as a luxury car. This means it'll be much cheaper to just hire someone and pay them a hundred bucks for the day to declutter your space. 
But I'm afraid the same cannot be said for Amazon. They can afford Digit's high price tag because for them, it would be an investment. And Agility Robotics came up with two different pricing models for the robots. Technically, there are two ways to bring Digit home or, you know, to your warehouse. The first way is the classic CapEx model, capital expenditure. This is the just buy the robot outright approach. It's like walking into a car dealership and saying, yep, I'll take that shiny bipedal machine right there. You pay for it and take it home or to the office. No official sticker price has been publicly announced, but early reports suggest you'd be looking at something in the ballpark of a new luxury car, potentially six figures. It's a big upfront investment, but you own it. It's yours. You can name it Jeff, dress it in company merch, and put it to work right away. Now, if coughing up that kind of cash sounds painful, Agility's got a second option, Ross or Robot as a Service. Think of it like Netflix, but instead of binging shows, you're renting a robot that does real work. Under this model, you pay a subscription fee, somewhere between $10 to $12 an hour of robot labor. This means Agility Robotics will be doing all of the maintenance and repairs. In the CapEx model, you're responsible for fixing Digit. It's flexible, scalable, and perfect if you don't want a long-term commitment, kind of like dating before you decide to marry a humanoid. Agility hasn't rolled this out to the general public yet. Right now, Digit is in early partnerships and pilots, but the plan is to scale up both purchasing models as the factory, RoboFab, ramps toward its 10,000 unit a year goal. So yeah, your robot overlord, I mean employee, could be closer than you think. But why are they ramping up production right now? Well, that has a lot to do with all of the improvements Digit has undergone in the last few years. Digit was on the cover of Time magazine in 2024, as one of the best inventions in 2024. And for a good reason. If you look at Digit, he looks like a humanoid robot, but he doesn't look like a human. That's because Agility Robotics isn't trying to build a robot that looks like a human, but a robot that can actually do what it claims. In other words, Digit is specialized for warehouse jobs and warehouse jobs only. The first thing you've probably noticed is that Digit has backward legs. But before you start roasting it for walking like a mechanical flamingo, there's a good reason for this. Its legs are inspired by ostriches, not fashion models because bird legs are biomechanically efficient. Those funky-looking limbs help Digit balance better, climb stairs, crouch, and handle uneven ground without face planting like your Roomba after a long night. On top of that, they can get really close to shelves and pick up things without dropping them, which is where the hands come into play. Digit's hands, or more accurately, Modular mitts are specialized as well. Agility Robotics is working on interchangeable hands for Digit. Why? Because one size doesn't fit all when it comes to robotic tasks. You might want a simple gripper for lifting boxes, a more dexterous hand for manipulating fragile objects, or maybe something specialized for tools. Instead of giving Digit one fixed pair of hands for life, they're going full Mr. Potato Head so you can swap out appendages based on the job. It's like giving your robot the right outfit for the task, except instead of pants, it's mechanical claws. Inside Digit's head, which looks a bit like a sci-fi bicycle helmet with LED eyes, it's all brains and sensors. There's no mouth or voice box yet, but it houses key components like stereo cameras, LiDAR sensors, and computer vision systems. This is how Digit sees the world and doesn't accidentally hug a forklift. All the data Digit gathers while working, where it walked, what it picked up, how it avoided Greg from shipping, is stored locally first and then uploaded to the cloud for further analysis and improvement. It's basically learning on the job, kind of like your intern, but with fewer coffee breaks. And here's where things get even more futuristic. Agility is partnering with NVIDIA through its Project GR00T initiative, short for Generalist Robot 00 Technology. NVIDIA is building a foundational AI model for robots, and Agility's Digit is one of the poster children. With GR00T, Digit won't just follow pre-programmed instructions. It'll eventually learn new tasks by watching and doing, making it smarter with every shift. Warehouse work today, world domination tomorrow? Just kidding, probably. Do you think Digit will make all warehousing jobs obsolete within five years or not? Let us know in the comments below. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time.